virus. I told you, your father's not here. <clears throat> they're back. Yes, they're back. But don't get any bright ideas. Your quarters are under full surveillance. Your weapons privileges have been suspended. No more uprisings for you. Did you really think it would be that easy, Commander? You'll get your boys back. Hell, even see the boss, too. But first, I need to know what you sent them to do. <clears throat> they wanted to leave. To their homelands. They wanted to go home. That's all. So they were just homesick then? Not quite. Militia warlords, PFs, the armies that murdered their families. Cousins, brothers, parents. They all had someone they wanted to kill. <laughs> I told them, last chance to face the world with no regrets. Last chance. You better be ready for your drag back here. Ready to face the world as enemies. <laughs> <laughs> no! Father, I don't need you anymore. really an accident or did Eli just rig it to stir up the boys either way he had to have been planning for this all along bidding farewell to the world Station at LC. <laughs> 
about Eli hijacking Salanthropus. We know how he got it moving. It was Emmerich. He used the kids in the staff living quarters to carry out his repairs. We got the details on tape. You're gonna want to hear this. of Moscow, after which he was due to be sent. It doesn't appear that the researchers witnessed the talents we've seen. His latent cognitive abilities suddenly awoke en route to Moscow. According to the report, the third boy was easily influenced by other individual evil thoughts in particular. They affected extreme anger or resentment. Now, during the transport flight to Moscow, the boy was ex ever since being conscious of his powers He's be What's unique about him is the way his acute telepathic abilities get taken over by the boy began to physically parasitize individuals experiencing extreme. This includes amplifying the host's natural strengths or in accordance with the host desire, making them a puppet. As human neural synapses transmit weak. These electrical currents, though at a level difficult to observe, the third boy is able to pick up. Contrary to psychotronics, which involves controlling the human mind, his abilities as a receptor are too high. The emotions he picks up from another individual are amplified and unleashed into his body as they recur. They turn into microwaves, which then affect the triggering paranormal phenomena like the spontaneous combustion of organic matter or moving an object. And one other thing, while he's parasitizing a host, the boy's ego gets allowing the will of the host, like some annoying static drowning out your... That means he isn't responsible for what somebody's extreme anger has manifested through the third boy's powers, and which would mean this was going on somewhere around us. Looking back on it, a lot of things make sense now. The man on fire, saw Lanthropus, Everything has been happening. We first saw him in the hospital. The boy parasitizing the man on fire. He next appeared at the Hamid fighters. There, the boy parasitized skull faces. He controlled Sahalanthropus, making it do whatever. Same goes for when we extract. When he appeared at the Devil's House in Central Africa, everything is clear up to this point. But even the informant couldn't pinpoint who the host was in the cave within Serac power plant. 
Sahelanthropus suddenly became active, then crushed not only the man on fire, surely neither of them could have been the host. Who else was at that location and whose will was controlling Sahelanthropus? According to the report, emotions transmitted in children's brains affect the surrounding cerebral nerves are covered with insulation called myel. The reason for this leakage has to do with the fact so children with a burning desire i can think of only one eli we don't know what kind of life he's had but the resentment he's shown toward adults is nothing the third boy resonated with eli and that means eli bore the strongest animosity of all individuals within the boy estimated to be a three mile radius beating out even vulgan and skullface the third boy has probably remained hooked on eli's anger since you remember at the devil's house the third boy showed an interest in shabani that must have been his ego making a rare appearance. He may possess abilities far beyond, maybe them both being, and if so, maybe with Eli, he isn't feeding off him, but acting in symbiosis with him. So what kickstarted the third boy's powers? If we look at the location and time that his plane went down, when the plane experienced the first anomaly, it gave an accurate report due north of the Black Sea, Dead south in the Black Sea is Cyprus. So the plane's position was directly north of the hospital where you'd been asleep for nine years. And this anomaly was reported at exactly the same time. The plane was enveloped in flame from the end. The fuselage burnt to ashes. There were no survivors. Your thoughts formed a synchronicity with the boy's psyche and were ample. That would have been more than enough. Your rage was like a big bang in his head. The boy was then secretly moved to the lab outside of Moscow where Volgan was comatose. There, Volgan's thoughts resonated with the boy and he, Volgan became the man on fire. Hell, his instincts led him straight to you. Skullface knew Volgan from Operation Snake Eater or perhaps from even before. Monitoring this pair of extraordinaries, he discovered the hospital and sent his assistant. Skullface was probably watching the situation from then, realizing how useful these two t Reacting to Skullface's thirst for revenge, this time the bo Volgan, at times driven by personal revenge, at times through Skullface's will, kept on moving, though his body was little more than dead meat. Perhaps there were moments where even your thoughts affected him as well. Without the boy's power, it was like the plug had been pulled from the... Everything was powered by anger. This is how the end of both the third boy and the man on fire were originally test subjects of paranormal research, like telekinetically controlling the leader of an enemy nation and making him launch a... Stopping the heart of someone on the wrong side of the Berlin Wall. They were used as tools. The boy's only crime was being born with unique gifts. Turned into a living weapon. Eventually, the only emotion he could feel... Boss, it's you that awakened the boy's powers. I guess the anger emanating from you was something he could truly relate to.